Auto Show. Hey guys, we're at the uh, Kansas City Auto Show here in Bartle Hall, and uh, we're going to be looking at some of the upcoming cars, like uh, the new Corvette, and uh, taking a look at some of these supercars here. So, hope you guys enjoy. This car looks really nice. Look at the rims. GTR. This is not a GTR, kid. It literally says it in the back. Bro, do you not know what a GTR looks like? the interior the brake calipers that's pretty sick yeah then again it has the display like the mm -hmm. other Mercedes that right. I like carbon fiber spoiler that's really nice the golden brake calipers that's a GTR all right moving on so we got a 2019 Porsche model 991 this is a truck car and I gotta say rally car or whatever same thing I think this car looks really great just like the red it's got a wide, it's got a wide body right here the interior looks pretty cool too I don't know if you guys can see it but I think it looks good in general here these are fans right here actually what does that say eat e beef e beef yeah <laughs> 2000 Porsche model 981 um, this is actually a race car so it's got a bunch of rock chips right here <laughs> but uh, as we get closer to the interior you'll notice that it's all have been stripped and what's what is needed they just threw to the side which I think is funny the batteries up here too um, as you guys are noticing there's a seat that's missing and a bunch of other stuff that actually is a road cage That's cool mm -hmm. carbon fiber right here. Whoa, and uh, yeah pretty cool Toyota Supra these cars are super nice What do you think you're gonna buy one? Yeah, if I get the money. <laughs> yeah, if he gets the money The car itself just looks really nice Like Yeah, I mean it is our show anyways and yeah. then just expect it. Now one thing I really wanted to see is this 2020 Corvette where the engine is actually in the back. This is the first model that ever has it in Corvettes and uh, just the design in general just looks very slick. I just look at it. Want to take a look at the engine though? Yeah. Earlier they didn't have everything but they do now so that looks freaking light. Oh shit. I like how it has storage compartment in the back, like a junk, and then it also has the engine, and then it has more storage in the front. But the coolest thing about this is the interior. As you can see the display, like kind of angles toward the driver, you see that? Yeah. And then pilot shifter's like normal. I can't really see anything else from there, but you guys will. Yeah, pretty sick car. Here's the back, it kind of looks like a Camaro. Back looks almost exactly like a Camaro. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh my god, the silver. I don't know, pretty, pretty cool model. Moving on. Okay, so what you guys have been waiting for? The boat. Joking. We have, we have Dodge Vipers here. And uh, I think these are Alphas or something like that. No, Lotuses. I don't know these cars. I, I, I don't, I don't pay either. attention to these. But what we are paying attention to are the McLarens and the Vipers. Maseratis, GTR, um, yeah, that's our main focus on tonight. So we got a couple, we got a couple Lamborghinis over here. 1994. We have two McLarens right here, and then two more Lamborghinis over here, and more stuff down there that we're gonna look at. So we got a couple um, Alphas here. Here's the Lotus, and then another Lotus. Now 2013 Dodge Viper, pretty cool. We have a Jaguar Type F. Um, 2017 Nissan GTR, and then we have a 2015 Maserati. Beautiful car. I love the color of this. Don't you? I think just the blue looks really good. I saw one of these on Facebook. It was a 2007 for like 30 grand. So crazy expensive. And this is 2015. So this is probably every bit of like 30 grand or 300. 30. 30. For 2007. Oh, okay. It's 2015. Oh. Yeah, it's 2015. So this is probably worth what? $150,000. Yeah, like now the GTR we know is like 130 to 120. Um, I don't know about the Jaguar or the Alphas and Lotuses. Um, but if we come over here, 
Oh my god, the Lamborghini just looks sexy on camera, dude. But we have a blue McLaren 2015. This is like my dream car in general. Just look at it, dude. Look at the rims. My god, this wow, dude, the this car are huge. <laughs> yeah, this car will shit and get, dude. Guaranteed. And then we have another Dodge Viper. This is an older one, 1997. We have a BMW. The only BMW I've seen all night long is this one. 2019 BMW i8. Pretty, pretty cool ass car, dude. Gotta say. Lamborghini per Performante? How do you say that? Performante? Performante. Performante. Italian. Performante. Uh, so we got a Lamborghini Performante. Dude, look at the rims on the Performante. Oh my Ooh. god. I wish it was, I don't know, I don't like, I kind of like that gold, but not It's got really. the, the soft leather. Soft yeah. leather. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like freaking furry, lit. Furry yeah, leather. I don't know what to call it. Um, another Porsche, GT4 Porsche. Um, another, another McLaren. If I had to choose between the three McLarens that are over here, the blue one, the gray one, and yellow one, I'll definitely go with the gray finish. Yeah, I'll probably go with the blue. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I just like the blue. It's got red interior. That's pretty cool. Butterfly doors. Fucking dope ass cars. Now this one is carbon a fiber. yeah, it's got carbon fiber um, on it. This one is a McLaren 650S. Um, it's yellow, uh, yellow. And the interior is black, but with yellow stitching, which is really cool. You see the yellow yeah. stitching on the dash? Yeah, I do. I don't know if you guys. Yeah, can. That really does look pretty cool. Yeah, I gotta say this like <laughs> the supercar, like Bumblebee supercar, just without the racing stripes. 1984 Lamborghini. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. This thing is like a box, but like the box of the age. Like, oh my shit. I love how the white interior is not stained at all. This is like something that's been in like, like good quality ever since. And then we have another Lamborghini Aventador. Well, the first one here, 2014, carbon fiber. This car is just wow. amazing to see. It's Butterfly got doors. Lot, it's got a lot of carbon fiber. Let's go look at the engine, All since right. we can. Nice rims on it. Now here's the engine. It's got a carbon fiber uh, hood cover, uh, engine cover. And then the exhaust is probably the whole thing about this car that makes it look so nice. I don't have the... Look at this thing, this is like thick. <laughs> Fatty tires. <laughs> Those tires are big, dude. Yeah. Um, got the engine on the old Lamborghini. And then the one thing that I like the most with the McLarens is the back. It's like plain, right. but still looks really nice in general. Um, especially the exhaust, the dual exhaust looks really nice. Mm -hmm. It says keep calm, keep calm. Mm -hmm. Uh, another McLaren here. I, I really like these. McLaren. Now, yes, this is like much better than this. Mm -hmm. This is why I go with the gray one. I like how McLaren. Especially, yeah. How it tries to add their symbol. This McLaren symbol they add it into the actual design of. The car. Yeah, I feel like it just goes good with the design. Right. And I really like this carbon fiber spoil. It looks really nice just with the color in general, mm -hmm. and the exhaust. They're kind of like hidden, but they're still really nice. Right. Everything about this car is really nice. I wish they would have popped the hood for this, but they didn't, so whatever. And then here you get a closer look in the interior. And then moving on to the Porsche. Another Kansas license plate. It's actually a manual transmission. Most of this car is a little weak. Oh my god, why is this so dirty? Oh no. Oh no, that's the finish. Whoa, dude. Okay. It's like a marble finish. That's like really mm -hmm. cool. It's like know, this is not dirty. Marble. This is like a marble finish. That makes it like really the cool. Exhaust. It looks so good. Yeah, the exhausts are pretty cool, I'll say. Um, get a good look at the interior. It's another like soft finish again. Those are massive paddle shifters. Oh my god, they are. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but and then the BMW. This is like a really new car. I like the butterfly doors on this one. How it like in the interior, it kind of looks like a Tesla interior. Like, just no, a bit, just a bit, just just the hood dash. Ah, uh, 
I mean, I feel like I mean, Tesla is like a lot more plain and like just yeah. there. It's not like it don't really have curves. It's pretty much flat, and then you got yeah. the iPad or whatever it is. But I love these butterfly doors. I love and normal butterfly doors kind of like just go up like that. The gray McLaren back there. This one goes up and then like out. Kind of folds out. Yeah, it goes like with the curve of the windshield, which is really nice about this car. Really like it. Good stuff, BMW. And then Honestly, I don't know if I like the rear end of the this. Well, this is an old car. This yeah, is like I mean, old, it, it but looks this is like, like classic though. Reminds me of like a baby. <laughs> reminds me of a baby. <laughs> the gas cam, the gas cap. I feel like they could have done better on rims, yeah. but the other gas that, cap is out there. Look at that. That's a it's a Viper GT5. So Big good stuff, cap. but this. And then again, great. Just I just love this car. Just. Let's get a look in the interior, keep moving. Um, love the rims on this car too. I feel like they could have gone a different color with the brake. Makes it stand out, it's got carbon fiber intake. And then we have the interior. Well, it's like a, come here, it's like an iPad mini. Look at the screen, it's like an yeah, iPad mini. Like, like a phone. Uh, but this also has yellow like, stitching. Looks like carbon fibers in the middle. It is? Yeah. Yeah, pretty carbon cool fiber interior. Mirrors. Carbon fiber mirrors, yep. Also carbon fiber. Yeah, I already, already got that. Um, yeah. Pretty cool car. So we got a silver Ferrari uh, 612 here. 2008. Yeah, I, I love this vintage, dude. Mm -hmm. I, I just like the silver cars in general, but not this one, but this one, the F12. Definitely the like Looks the like wider, like <laughs> kind of does in a way, but just the wider like silver finish is just a lot better. But over here we have a F430 right here, red, 2007. And then we got a couple more that we're gonna work our way down, so let's get to it. Here on the 430 Ferrari, the interior is probably like the best interior out of all, every car here. I just love the, like the leather brown finish in it. Like 100% like the best out of all of these. Um, and then here we have a 36, 2004 36 Ferrari. Mm, I don't I don't know about that. I don't really like the the white rims on it, I but don't really uh, either. I love the spoiler. I like how the spoiler is like big and stands out. This one doesn't have a spoiler, but this one does, and it stands out, and I just love that. Right. We have the Aston Martin right here, 2006. Yeah, I don't know if I like this one as much. I don't know. I kind of like the wide body yeah, on it. Yeah, kind of do too. But that's probably it out of that. And then moving on down, the car you guys been waiting for. This one, right. <laughs> Now uh, here we got the uh, backside of the Ferraris. I definitely like this one. It looks really nice. It's kind of plain, which is cool. Oh, lights over here. More backs of the Ferrari. I definitely like the silver one better. It's kind of more unique, so to say. But that one's pretty plain. I like that one too. I mean, I just like all of these cars really. They're just really unique. Really nice. Just imagine. And then over here we got a couple of classic cars, which is pretty nice. Um, don't really know much about the classic cars. One because I'm I'm not 34 million years old. But this is a Ferrari, red interior looks really nice with the black. Gotta say, and man, those red. <laughs> oh man, the back finish is pretty nice. I like how it's like classical looking. I I do like the classical look, but like. A little look at the license plate. Still yeah, it's like down, like under the car. That's weird. Yeah, that way when they really want to get away, they floor it. Bottom of the car goes down, and it takes the off the license plate. plate. Yeah, yeah, there you right. go. <laughs> Just scoops it up. <laughs> um, a couple of these cars. I really don't know what these are to be honest. Yeah, I don't either. It says it right there on the tire, but very classical, I gotta say. This looks very. Cool. Now this is a cool car. Yeah, this is a um, Corvette. Corvette. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Corvette scene, right? Yep. It's an older one. My grandpa actually owns a, owns one of these. It's just broken and doesn't look as nice because, well, it's broken. All right. Pretty old engine. I say it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Pretty age. Yeah. 